everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. I made this card using the dies from Peaceful Moments. I used this die, which I've already cut out. I've got them here. Sorry. I used this die, which I need to cut out. And I use these leaves and I also need these. The background I stamped using painted poppies and I just used the splatter dots and that was all I used. The sentiment I've already done as I heat emboss that on uh, black cardstock and I've got bits of white embossing powder where I shouldn't have it it's better. and I've already done that. done that sorry about this Just trying to scrape off white where I shouldn't have white. That's better. Happy with that now. Yeah, I did two when I did this one. I did another one because I knew I was going to film it. So I've got that. So all I'm going to do today is obviously the background and show you how I made the background for the flowers and cut the flowers out and cut the leaves out. I've also got some ribbon. These are just what's in my drawer. I've got a bit of gold ribbon and a bit of pale pink ribbon this ribbon actually comes when i buy my card packs the card blanks these i um they come with envelopes tied up in pink ribbon and i keep the ribbon and use it <laughs> There's my pink ribbon cut. Let's cut the white ribbon. Uh, gold ribbon. I don't know where I got this gold ribbon from. It was just in my drawer. I do have a bag of ribbon that is stamping up that my upliner Katie Freeman gave me. Um, all different types, all retired and this was in it so whether it was stamping up or not I don't know I know this one isn't but yeah so that's my ribbon what else is there? cards so I have a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished piece of purple posy at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white cardstock at three and a half no five and a five and a half by three and three quarters That's that one and then a white piece at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside I also have some scraps of white for the flowers and the leaves so let's get rid of that. All right, let's get some brushing done. Right, I've got three inks. Let's do the leaves first. So I'm using Granny Apple Green. And let's get a brush. That's my green one. I've also treated myself to two new brushes and they've come out pink. 
So I now have six brushes. What I'm going to do is mark, name them like blues, reds, greens, pinks, purples. Just so I use the same brush all the time for what I want. Right, I'm not going to bounce this off. I'm going to bounce it on the card but in different places for the green and then I'm going to cut it in because I want texture on it for the um, on my own about texture on it for the leaves just trying to clean my brush um, so that's that and then what I'll do is cut out three leaves and once they've cut out they'll be all different colours like that so we'll cut them out afterwards right this flower so I'm going to try and get two out of here. I will. So rich raspberry. We'll do the same, but we'll just keep it contained in half of it. Right. And just go around in a circle make sure it's enough to cut that out which it is darker in the middle and then light lightens as you go to the edge <coughs> and clean your brush off what a waste of ink So that's that one and then when you place that on top you'll see it in that way it'll come dark out of the white which gives the colour to the leaves to the flowers and there won't just be a flat colour so we've got to do the pink next, which I use when I'm in new brushes. Right, patter and Stamp off. That's nice. I just want that a bit darker. Right. Put that back in its netting to keep the Bristles in place. Cut this in half. And we'll bring in my scissors size kick and cut these out. These just fit in here. So there's our flower and there's the let's see how pretty that looks. Just looks different. 
right. There is our rich raspberry flower. Get rid of them. And now we've got the leaves to do. So I'm just going to cut up there. And I want some white. for these It's got different colours on it. And the centrepiece for the flowers. Just need another piece of each. Um, big enough. I could have done all this, um, you know, before we, before I filmed, but then you wouldn't have seen what I'd done. Right, last leaf. I'm going to have that over there. have a nice mess as you can see there goes my scissors so we have our flower uh, like that that one and the pink one and our three leaves and of course our Center pieces for our flowers. So let's stick these down. All I did was just a dot of glue along the edge and up the middle bit. I'm quite surprised these um, outer flowers fitted in my sidekick. I thought they'd be too big. But, nope. 
they got cut. Right. Trying to figure out where they go. And then we just pop these. Oh, why I'm taking that out to hide it anyway. In the middle, along with a little white one. And there is our flower made. I think that looks quite nice. Do the same with this one. And there is our British raspberry. Two nice pretty flowers, I think. And of course our leaves. So, now we just have to do our um, stamping on here with our two colours. Right, I did the big one in Russian Bride and the smaller one in Rich Raspberry and all I did was stamp it all over like that and then with the little one whoops, again just stamped just to give it some get the ink off it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. You won't see that. And that is it. That's all I did on my background. And then I sat. No, I didn't. What we get for not looking. We put the ribbon over it. So I am just going to find the middle of my card. So it's two and a half, round about there. And I'm just going to. Put a line of glue and place my ribbon down. Same on this pink one. Huh. 
So that one I'm going to put flat down there. And this one I'm going to put on dimensionals on that end. And my leaves, they just get glued into place. Underneath the flower, I have two on this side. And one. That side. Before I go any further, let's put this on its base. Should have done this before I stuck it down, stuck anything on it. this on there. Like that. I don't think I did anything inside that. And that just leaves us the sentiment, except I've lost it. And that is going to sit just there. So I'm going to put a dimensional at one end. Take it off. And pop some glue that and just stick that make sure it's straight some gems to put on it. I only added three of these little button gold button gems I've got. And there is our card. better. 
throw it off on a clean side instead of a dirty piece of paper. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cast, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.